Hey guys, it's GTV News for Gamers here coming at you with another pickups video. I'm uh, kind of under the weather this week. Um, but I did get out today and I did go to my favorite little thrift store in town and I found another big score. So it was a really good day and I definitely needed to pick me up. So I'll start with uh, three CDs that I got at the first store. They were, what was it, buy one, get two free, and they were otherwise a dollar each. So, Eminem, Recovery. Uh, I've always kind of been a fan of Eminem since I was a kid. My brothers turned me on to his music. Uh, he's gotten a lot, I want to say darker, but more mature. He's not making as much fun as, uh, you know, celebrities and stuff anymore and I you know I appreciate that because you know it shows that he's growing up and trying new things and I definitely like a lot of the songs on this album and uh, a couple of soundtracks to movies uh, Small Soldiers disc is in good condition as you can see Ooh. Uh, it's a very nice soundtrack. Free another one by the Dust by Queen. Love is a Battlefield uh, by Pat Benatar. And the best of the lot, I was really surprised to see this there, sitting there for like a buck. The Star Wars Episode 2 Attack of the Clones official soundtrack by John Williams. Uh. Attack of the Clones, I'll say it right now, worst Star Wars movie out of all six, but as always, it has a great score. Uh, disc is in very good condition. Virtually no scratches. I only see maybe one minor one that really shouldn't affect it. Um, so this was definitely the first thing I spotted when I got in there, and really glad I picked it up. Jangle shot on the cover. Um, picked this up because it was a DVD of a show I used to watch way back in the day on YTV when I was a kid. Uh, Jimmy Neutron, Boy Genius, Confusion Fusion. This is uh, the first nine episodes. One's a double length. Um, Buck 60. Definitely good to pick this up. I loved Jimmy Neutron when I was a kid. The movie came out first, obviously, and then there was a series on Nickelodeon, which aired in Canada on YTV. It was a pretty good show. Um, pretty smart for humor for a kid's show. Definitely fun. Some pretty good CG animation. A very nice style to it. Um, overall, I thought it was a pretty fun movie. I mean, series. And, you know, I'm just, like I said, I'm recollecting pieces of my childhood one by one. So, anyway... Also picked up some toys. Um, they were in a bunch of various random grab bags, but I found the ones that I wanted. And this one was actually loose, just sitting there. It's a Play School Transformer. I don't know its name. Um, I want to say Racer Kun, but I'm pretty sure that's the Japanese name for this toy. It's from, according to the date, 2001, and it's a very simple transformation. I'll just show you here. Turn that around. Put these together. Bring them up. Bam. It was 50 cents, as you can see by the tag. So, very simple transformation because it is a play school toy. It's, it's probably like three steps. Um, and they're simplifying Transformers for the new movie line, too. Um, a lot of people are criticizing Hasbro for apparently dumbing down the toys, but you know what? They were pretty simple from the very beginning. It's only with the movies that they got really complex. So, I don't really, like, I don't know why people are suddenly complaining that they're too complex now, they're complaining that they're too simple. I don't know. I feel like the Transformers fan base, a lot of them are just unpleasable, and it really kind of makes me, I almost, it doesn't make me ashamed to be a part of that fan base, but I just, some people are just, some members of that fandom I just can't stand. Like, they're never satisfied. I take the good with the bad. The bad being Michael Bay, mostly. 
But, uh, something that's not Transformers related, but is Power Rangers related, my other toy obsession. Uh, found this. He was in a grab bag for a buck fifty. Um, Power Rangers Dino Thunder Megazord. It's not a, like, full snap together Megazord with all the different pieces. Uh, they are just kind of connected together, but it does a nice little spinning drill thing. And some very nice paint. Gold paint apps on the claws and stuff. And, you know, he'll definitely go good up with the uh, rest of the Megazords over there. So I'll be adding him to that. And uh, finally, last couple of finds from the thrift store. This was uh, for the Game Boy Advance, sitting in the display case, seven bucks, but it's factory sealed. There's only a little bit of damage right there. It's Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. Um, don't think I'm gonna keep this sealed, just cause, I know I don't run into factory sealed games that often in the city. But, you know what, I do wanna play it. I do wanna open it up and experience it. So, I'm probably going to play it, because I really do like the Tony Out games, and I don't know sure how they play on portables, but we'll see. And the best, best pickup of the day is this. Beast Wars Transmetal Tarantulas. This guy was sitting in a bag with a bunch of other toys. They all cost, the bag all together cost one dollar. And this guy was a steal of a deal. He is from the show. And this is his second form, his trans metal form, obviously. Um, as you can see, he's practically complete. A few of his parts, like his wheels right here, are kind of loose. These are his wheels in his robot, or uh, spider mode. But I've been looking for tarantulas for a long time. I've been looking for more trans metal and more Beast Wars stuff in general. And this was a great find, so he's a welcome addition to the collection. So, welcome to the army, Tarantulas. <laughs> or welcome to the family, whatever you prefer. So, those were my pickups. Uh, <laughs> Hopefully I'll be getting better soon. Because we have a very important thing coming up in April. It's Retro Gamers Unite. It's the uh, Winnipeg Retro Gaming Convention to help charity. April 5th, 2014. Mark your calendars. Buy your tickets. I don't even know if they're on sale right now, but they will be soon. So, without further ado, and after a shameless plug, I'm GGP News for Gamers. I'll see you guys later.